Super easy. Yeah, so good. So funny. So grab some mom yeah. friends. Be sure to wear waterproof mascara because you will be crying laughing. That's how hilarious. Right. And maybe even just like a panty liner pad because like <laughs> I, sometimes when I laugh too hard, I pee so hard. <laughs> so just a little heads up. Natasha and I are laughing so hard about our hilarious night out, which is the topic of this week's chat on episode number 74 of the Harness the Power of Planning podcast, the chat only section coming up now. Happy Thursday. I'm Natasha. I'm Allegra. And together we are Beyond Your Wildest Dreams. And welcome to our Thursday chat. We do this every month. I, I said, welcome to our Thursday chat. We do this every month. <laughs> you can tell I've only taken two sips of coffee so far today. We pop on here and we chat a little bit and then we have our topic. And it's usually start, start centered around planning, parenting, and always the mission is to help you prioritize yourself, save time, and achieve your goals. And that is what BYWD is all about. And that's what we're here to chat about today. Yeah, and we have a topic every week. And this week's topic is advice we give our younger selves. However, before we get into that, we also do chit chat. So before we started talking, Natasha and I had, before we started this video, Natasha and I had just been talking about emergency preparedness because if you watched two weeks ago or three weeks ago, I did a live chat just by myself about emergency preparedness and I included a PDF. It's actually, it's a 34 page PDF. It's quite long. However, I had created this PDF for a talk that I did and it is very specific to earthquakes, although there is some information for general emergency preparedness. The, the live chat that I did three weeks ago or two weeks ago, it really is only discussing two pages in that 34 page PDF. So if that 34 page PDF sounds overwhelming, just know that you only really have to look at two pages to follow along with this podcast. And basically I break down emergency preparedness in three steps. And so Natasha had said, I'm definitely gonna watch that when I get back from my silent retreat. And so she was just telling me that she looked over it and yeah, yeah. I don't know what we thought. There's, well, there's just so many smart things in there. Lots of things that I've already done, right? Like things that I was like, oh yeah, I've done that. But things that I need to update that I wasn't even thinking like, oh my goodness, I need to update some of these, some of the numbers actually like on the, on the emergency card. Um, Things like that, you yeah. know, just, and overall, just kind of like go and check the things that, you know, like, cause things expire, you know, like you put it mm -hmm. in your emergency kit. So we have, we have backpacks in each cars and by each of, in each bedroom, right? We don't have, like, I've never gone ahead and done like the really, really big emergency, um, emergency kit thing where, you know, you take like a, a, a rolling garbage can and fill it up, right? One of those ones that has like a water right. at the bottom, blah, blah, blah. We haven't done that, but we have the emergency backpacks and I'm like, I need to go through those, make sure the stuff in there hasn't expired, make sure that, you know, cause when I first did them, the kids were much younger. And so they didn't have like a cell phone or whatever else. And I'm like, oh, I have to make sure they have the emergency cards in with the phone numbers. Cause nobody remembers phone numbers anymore, right? I mean, I know my husband's phone number by heart yes. and mine. I don't even know my kids watches phone numbers by heart. I just don't. Oh <laughs> you know my goodness. I mean? so, yeah, I just, we, mo yeah, I don't know it by heart. I definitely don't. Yeah. It's just, anyway, so I got to update all that stuff. So it was really, really great to go through that and be like, oh yeah, I didn't think if there's a, if, a couple things in there that I had not thought of, you know, and then just going ahead and checking because also like the backup shoes that I put in for the kids. Cause you know, you usually want to put in a pair of sneakers right. or something because if it happens in the middle of the night, you probably barefoot. Right. So yes. to just have a pair I've got to go through that and realize I bet you the, st <laughs> I'm sure the shoes in there for the kids are too small, you know, that kind of right. thing, you know, so it's just kind of like, especially with all these, I had a friend who was in Asheville, North Carolina when this hurricane hit. And it's just one of those things where, and she was very lucky. She was staying there in an Airbnb and somehow she lucked out. It wasn't terrible damage. They were just without electricity for a while, but oh. neighboring towns, I mean, like, you know, some really devastating things happening. And so it's called preparedness for a reason, right? Yeah. It's not emergency, you know, hindsight, <laughs> you know, it's like, you know, being ready and it can make, it make, make a huge difference. Yeah. Because the thing with emergencies is you don't know when they're going to happen. Yeah. And so you have to be prepared mm -hmm. if you have, you know, any hope of operating in a way that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Like for instance, 
I created these little cards and I talk about it at great length in the podcast. These little wallets. Actually, I have it right here. I can even pull it out because it literally is in my wallet. It's this little wallet size card laminated. Mm-hmm. And I told my family, and by the way, we, this is great that it's happening, you know, pre-holidays because yeah. families all together, and this is a great time for you all to chat about it. I actually gave my family these cards that I had made uh, the day after Thanksgiving. We, we sat around and we talked about these cards and why they were important. And I could tell they were getting a little overwhelmed by everything that I was sharing. Mm-hmm. And I said to them, look, worst comes to worse. Just remember, Allegra gave me a card. I need right. to find that card and look at that look card. At it. Mm-hmm. Because it literally says, grab flashlight and light stick and shoes under bed. Okay, hopefully right. you don't need that, but you might. Right. You might yeah. be like, ah. Yeah, this is a great point. Like, all you actually have to remember is look at the card. You don't have to remember all the other steps, right? Yeah. And yeah, I'm realizing that, like, you know, now my kids have their own little, you know, smartwatch and they are, they have their own set of keys to the house and they bring their little wallets places now, like they have it in their backpack. And I'm realizing, oh boy, I better put, yeah, I better put it, put one of these cards in their wallets now that they're teenagers and they have their own wallets and stuff like that. Yes. There really wasn't a great place for that before. I mean, I guess in their backpack, but they don't always have their backpack on them. You know, so yeah, it was a really, it's so timely, A, because of just, unfortunately, all the, the disasters, stuff going on. all the stuff that's going on and B, I'm like, oh yeah, we're in a different stage of life now. And my kids are going to be at a different level of, you know, expectation around preparedness. So that was like a really, really good reminder. <laughs> I'm so glad. Well, and so for those of you who are listening to the podcast, if you go to tinyurl.com slash B-Y-W-D-E-P. So that stands for Beyond Your Wildest Dreams, Emergency Preparedness, BYWDEP. You can sign up and you can get this 34-page PDF. But as I mentioned, there's a, it's a lot of background info. I did create this for a presentation that I did. I am not certified in, emer- well, I did do the Community Emergency Response Team certification, but I'm not an emergency responder. I just like to be prepared, right? It kind of goes hand in hand with planning. Mm-hmm. It lowers my anxiety when I'm when I do this stuff, I'm not, I'm not kidding. Like yeah. I sleep at night because I have this backpack right. ready. Yeah. And it's funny you say that like, you know, around the holidays, cause like a few years ago I asked for Christmas, like an emergency radio, a, a, like a full, like we have some, you know, um, first aid kits, but like a really like comprehensive first aid kit and stuff. And my, my mom who is a, an accessory lady, like she was like, "You want this instead of like a new purse?" <laughs> and I right. was like, "I was like, yeah," because I also had like some tote on my wish list, and I was like, "You know what? I'd really get, rather have the emergency preparedness stuff." And she was like, "Okay," <laughs> you know what I mean? And like, just they did not understand, you know, like that, you know, like why would you choose like this really like unfun thing? But it right. does it. It, lo- it for sure lowers my anxiety, you know, to know like, okay, I, I can check it off, you know, because otherwise it just kind of runs it. Oh, yeah, I got to do that. Yeah, I got to do that. Yeah, it's an yeah, open tab. Sure. Mm-hmm. Exactly. In your background. Did the, actually... uh, back, the background noise help fix yes. or no? Okay. Yes. Good. Awesome. Yes. All right. So, um, yeah, actually I gave my family this really great gift and I'm trying to find it. It, it, it might not be available for sale anymore. But I gave my family this really great gift. And if you sign up for our mailing list, I'll add it to the show notes for this podcast so that when every every Thursday we send out an email with like, hey, we've done a podcast, I'll include in the show notes, I'll look for it. But it was this great uh, light bulb and it's an LED light bulb and it's got a plastic face, right? So it won't break easily. And the LED light bulb can be charged three different ways, including with a little solar panel that's included with it. And amazing. Yeah. You can charge your devices with this bulb. So basically the bulb acts like a battery and it's a bulb, right? And it has a hook on it. So I yeah, actually use can, this camping, yeah, you can hang, right? Cause you can hang it, you can hang it anywhere. Yeah. It's so great. And what I do is I put the solar panel in the, on the dashboard when we're driving to go camping. So mm-hmm. it's charged by the time we get there. And so anyway, this is what I gave everyone as a Christmas gift you know, a number of years ago, because I thought, you know, this is just a good thing to have, like, in it's general. Just, 
what's so great is the technology is getting so cheap too. Like that, like to have a solar panel a couple years ago is like really kind of expensive. I know. Like, do I want to spend the money on that for something that I maybe might use someday? Right. You know, and yeah. so it's just gotten so much cheaper to have that kind of technology, you know, great Absolutely. that you have another use for it with camping and so forth. But some people are just kind of like, what do I need a solar panel light bulb for? You know what I mean? I like just flick a switch, you know, but now it's not cost prohibitive anymore. You know, it's right. And you can just have it like on your patio or mm -hmm. whatever the case may be. Oh, I found it. Right. I found it here. So I'm going to oh, include this because yeah. yeah, it's such a great gift and it's such a great just thing to have around the house here. I'll include it right now so you can see. Yeah, because I like. feel like, you know, it is, it, it, it almost feels, uh, gosh, I feel like it's almost like in a, we're, we're like a little bit of an infomercial where you're like, it gives you peace of mind, but it, li it literally legitimately gives you peace of mind. You know what I mean? It does. Like to have these kinds of things handled. Um, I mean, if you've ever had something in your life that is just, oh gosh, I have to do that thing. Oh, I have to do that thing. This is that same thing on a smaller scale if it's something that you've been thinking about, you know? And so for me, it is something that I was thinking about. And so, yeah, it was an open tab in my, in my head. And so to be able to close that tab is really, really nice. And yeah, for sure. Absolutely. And I, I, um, this kind of tangentially reminds me of my boys don't, we don't have babysitters anymore. They're at that age where they can stay home alone, but back in the day when I did have babysitters, I just had like this info sheet basically, you know, that had my number, my husband's number, my kids, um, you know, their, their blood type, their, the name of our doctor, their medical record number, all the things, the name, the numbers of our, our neighbors, all of that kind of thing on a sheet on the inside of my, uh, the cabinet inside mm -hmm. the, in the kitchen. And so, you know, when that, it maybe it's their first time coming over or something, but all of it just being in one place and being able to just also having like poison control number on there, just in case, you know what I mean? Cause some, sometimes yeah. you just, in those moments where you panic, you're kind of like, what do I do? I don't know what to do. You know, and a big thing of the cross, like if it's an emergency, just dial 911. I wrote on there, you know, as well. Like just kind of like, Hey, listen, if you don't know what to do, <laughs> call 911, you know? Um, yeah. and that kind of like just having one little go-to spot for people to have a, like, you know, a touchstone and having an understanding of what's going on. Cause I remember when my, my parents would go off to go to a friend's house or dinner party or whatever, you know, they'd write on a legal pad, like, here's the number of our friend's house, you know, cause back yes. in the day you couldn't get in touch with the parents. Um, like you can today with the cell phones and stuff, but having that kind of thing. And then it may even be a, a great thing to like have this little a copy of the card that you're talking about along with that everyday babysitter information that you maybe keep aside for the sitter, you know, just as like, also like, Hey, here's a little cheat sheet just in case. Cause you know, again, you never know. And in those moments where somebody is not prepared, they may need, they may need some guidance. And that, that card is just a really great little cheat sheet. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I had the same sheet by on my refrigerator. If someone was here watching my daughter mm -hmm. that included like a picture of her insurance card. Yes. Because, mm -hmm. you know, right. I have my insurance card with her. I have her insurance card with me. Yes. And so that way they have the information in case they right. need it. Exactly. And so of course, I, we, all, yeah, we just we used all... the number, but I didn't do the photocopy. That's a good idea too. I just would put their medical record number. So mm -hmm. it's some way to access it, but that's a smart idea too. Just, just a photocopy, right? Just put it up there. Like all the info's there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now we're taking it to the next step actually, because now that my child goes to school outside of the home, you know, hopefully, and again, it, when you listen to the podcast, this will all make sense because the first stage of emergency planning is to just plan so that your family can figure out, okay, if something happens and we're separated, how are we going to meet up again? That's really step one. Mm -hmm. Because the reality is, is if you're worried about your family members, you're not going to be able to do anything else until you have some peace of mind about where they are, right? Mm -hmm. And so- now that she is not in the house all the time, I said to her, hey, if for some reason something happens when you're at school, because, hey, they're at school a third of the day, it can yeah. happen. Of course, you should stay at school. But if for some reason, if you have to leave school, okay, we do have ways to contact each other, cell phones. If for some reason you have to leave school and the cell phones aren't working, we need to pick a message drop spot so that I know where to find out the latest information about you. And so basically what that means is finding a place, a perimeter place by her school 
where I know that she she would leave me a note. And the whole message drop spot thing I talk about on the podcast, because Mm -hmm. again, if your family members trying to reconnect with each other, you you come up with an idea like, well, mom's house is the safest house. However, I pass by brother's house on the way to mom's house. So I might as well drop a message there. So that brother knows, hey, I'm on the way to mom's house. I'm healthy and fine. And it is Monday at 5.55 p.m. Mm -hmm. So that they just have an idea of where you are in case you can't talk to each other. Right. And that happens. Like my friend who got caught in this hurricane, you know, Mm -hmm. her cell service was out. You know, like I texted her a bunch of times because I knew where she was. And I was like, girl, you okay?" You know, and she was able to get a phone call through to me hours and hours later. But, you know, she's like, it's really random whether we have service or not. You know, so that is a very real thing. Right. Plus, you know, everybody's using their cell phone at the same time in a situation like that. Good luck. (laughs) You know, so. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there is really one piece of advice remember. too that is a good piece of advice that I did not put and I should add, I should update the thing. Of course, if I update it, then the link won't work. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I, won't, I won't update it right now. Oh, but, technology. <laughs> yes, but I heard this great thing where someone was saying, hey, if you're hiking and your battery for your cell phone is about to die or you know you're not going to have coverage at some point in the walk, change your outgoing message to, hey, I'm oh, hiking yeah. here, you know, if, if for some reason you get this message and you don't hear from me, this is where I've been. Very smart. That's really smart too, because sometimes when you leave to go someplace, to go to the trailhead, you have a plan to go somewhere, yes. but maybe you change yes. your plan, right? So that's really smart. Yeah. Because, yeah, because you know, if you're going hiking, you should let people know where you're going hiking and so forth before you leave. But, you know, things change, right? So that's yeah. a really, that's very smart. Yeah. The outgoing change. message. Yeah. So the outgoing message might be an opportunity. So again, in emergency situation, if you can leave, if you can record an outgoing message and say, Hey everyone, I'm fine. You might not be able to contact me. Uh, you know, whatever the case may be. Like one thing that they tell you is actually that you might not be able to call within the same city, but you might be right. able to call out of state. Right. Just because of the way cells are arranged. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so anyway, yeah, I'm right. glad so, you found it helpful. Oh my gosh, it was so great. Yeah, and this is and, why on my kid's emergency card, I include my sister who is way out of state, right? So as, right. A, person, as a person to call in case such exactly that, you know? So it's like, well, why would you have somebody in Washington's emergency number, right? Because of that yes. exact reason. It's important to put somebody out of state on your emergency card too. Exactly. And so for anyone who is listening or wants to get that PDF that I put together, go to tinyurl.com slash B-Y-W-D-E-P. Is it slash E-P? Oh, B-Y-W-D? sorry. Slash E-P. Yes. Slash right, so E-P. B-Y-W-D.com slash E-P? Tinyurl.com tiny slash B-Y-W-D-E-P. Got it. Cool. <laughs> I had the slash in the wrong place. So anyway, Natasha and I did something really fun that I absolutely want to talk about. Uh, which is still not our topic, but it was so fun. <laughs> it was it a was, blast. <clears throat> it was so fun. I'll let you tee it up. You want me to tee it up? Oh, okay. yeah, tee it up. We're talking about last Friday, right? Yes. Okay, yes. good. I'm like, I'm like <laughs> we do a lot of fun stuff, you guys. Um, this is yeah. So Allegra just hit me to these really hilarious duo moms. Uh, hashtag I mom so hard. They are very funny. And Allegra was like, hey, your birthday's coming up. She knows I love comedy. Of course, she loves comedy. She was like, let's go I'll take you to this really great comedy place. And these, these moms as a duo, as a comedy duo, they were hilarious. They were so fun. And what was so great is because the crowd was, of course, mostly moms because <laughs> that is yes. there. And then a couple of, couple of dudes and there, a couple of dads, you know. But, man, it was, it was so fun and relatable because these ladies are about our age, right? They're experiencing mm-hmm. the same things we could, we could, we experienced. And it was just really a laugh riot. And my favorite part, I'm forgetting their actual names. So uh, forgive me, but so they're a comedy duo and they call themselves I mom so hard. So right. Check them yeah. out on YouTube. Check, right. I don't remember their actual, I think Jen and Kristen or something. I'm not sure what their, yes. their actual yeah. name. Okay. My favorite thing that they did that was just so funny is that they went around the the audience and just grabbed random purses from people and then took the contents out on stage. And it was just <laughs> freaking hilarious, right? That lady who just like glasses, 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 readers, glasses. glasses, like five pairs of glasses. In her. Yeah. And she was and like putting them on. The she was putting was, like, them on her head. I mean, 
so funny. Like, you know, and just, I mean, so things you can absolutely relate to, you know, just that, that bit with the taking the stuff out of the, out of the purses was so, so funny. Yeah. Really. And funny. they actually have some video on YouTube of them doing this at other shows. Cause it's one of the things that they do everywhere. Yeah. And it is always it's hilarious, always hilarious. So and funny. it was funny because I, when I go out, I always switch to a really small bag. So I was glad that they didn't take mine because like mine would not have been hilarious. Mine had the <laughs> They're like bear. emergency card. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, that wouldn't have been in there. Like, right. Bummer. Or, yeah. But my, but I thought, of course, when I got home, I was like, oh my God, if I had my full bag with me, they would have had, would have had a field day. Field day. Totally. <laughs> yeah. Completely. Absolutely. Because I, I basically bring my house with me because Again, part of being wanting to be prepared is that I want to be prepared. We're so. basically we're basically Boy Scouts at heart, you know. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Yeah. It's, it's which is why I have my bag for when I go out, so I can be bare minimum. So anyway, it's totally. Hilarious. So if you're a mom, you will love these ladies. I mom so hard. They are really hilarious, super relatable. Just you know, telling it like it is with lots and lots of laughs in between. Like really, really funny. Yeah. Yes, and they're on tour right now. So. They live in California, so the tour started in California. So if you are not in California, that's awesome because you could actually go see them, and I'll just put their website right here into uh, the UR, the URL right here. It's just imomsohard.com. Super yeah, easy. Yeah, so good. So funny. So grab some mom yeah. friends. Be sure to wear waterproof mascara because you will be crying laughing that's how hilarious. Right. And maybe even just like a panty liner pad because like <laughs> I, sometimes when I laugh too hard, I pee so hard. <laughs> so just a little heads up. Cause oh my God. You so will funny. Laugh. It is funny. Yeah. They're yes. great. Thank you for that. Thank you for my gift. That was very, it was great. It was a great night out. Yes. It was such a fun night out. Yes. Thanks for joining us. Dream, Dream wild, 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 wild dreamer. dreamer. Thanks for joining us for the Harness the Power of Planning podcast. Be sure to like and subscribe wherever you listen.